let's create an absolute effect. Let's start by go to queue out, enter. We're going to go into our effect display, so effect effect, and we're going to create effect 11, enter. We want this to be absolute, let's click that first. Absolute effects consist of a series of actions. We're going to arrow over and select the, on the level column and make that be color palette one, which we've already created. We're going to arrow down and make actions one through seven be color palettes one through seven. There we go. Let's go back into live. We're going to select group 12 and put that at full. We'll put that into focus palette 2 again. And now we're going to apply effect 11. So this is seven actions, each one of which is a color palette that it's cycling through. Let's look at how we can apply this effect elsewhere. We're going to turn group 12 out, and we're going to bring up group 8. We're going to use our same effect 11 here. And because these channels are included in those color palettes, this effect is going to work without much more effort. Note that the effect is being played in the order of the group. So in this case, the order that group 8 was recorded. If we apply this effect to group 20, which has the same channels but in a different order, the effect will play back in that new order. So group 20, effect 11. Now the effect is mirroring in because that's how those channels were recorded in that group. From the effect screen, we can use the same attributes we used earlier. I'll just show one example. If we change our grouping to one, the entire psych is going to cycle through those actions together. To end this, let's go back into live and we'll do a clear sneak, enter.